Back in 2018, Sonos launched its compact soundbar, the Beam. Three years later came the Beam Gen 2, and now we have the Ray, which is smaller still, leaner on specs, but cheaper. Usually that doesn't add up to great sound. But you'll be surprised just how much presence this front projecting speaker system has when it's in the right room. To hell with our orders. And as it turns out, I have the ideal room to test array. This is actually my home studio and edit suite, and this is where I do my live cross to Sky News every Sunday. So it's a good spot, tiny room to test array. It's 1.6 meters away from me. I'll be using this Sony top mic to record the audio. You won't get that in stereo, but you'll get an idea of what it sounds like from this spot. All the audio that you'll be hearing from the TV will be via an optical connection to the Ray. All the other audio will be coming from an iPad or my MacBook Pro, and that'll be over AirPlay. So let's check it out from 1.6 meters away. If you have a cabinet like this where up firing or side firing speakers would be blocked, the Ray is perfect for you. The Ray produces sound thanks to four Class D digital amplifiers tuned to the soundbar's acoustic design. It has two tweeters, two centered, high efficiency mid woofers, and bass reflex system that minimizes distortion and rounds out low end frequencies. The end result is really yes, clear voice reproduction for music and movies, oh, so you won't miss a thing. 20 bars of space does per cubic meter. You can refine this further by using spikes, speech enhancement bass, via the app. The bass won't shake the walls, but it's there. You certainly won't miss on the rumble in epic battles. Weapons fire was powerful. And you won't miss out on those funky bass lines, so you'll still be in the groove. For its size, the Ray pumps out some serious sound. But for 399 Australian dollars, you're going to miss out on a few things the Beam Gen 2 has for $699. So let's check out the differences. The Ray doesn't have Dolby Atmos as seen working here on the Beam, but you'll still get separation. Play any AC-DC track to test that out. But again, get too far away and this effect will dissipate. You can add a pair of Sonos 1SL speakers for a surround sound experience. There's no HDMI, EARC or EARC in the Ray, but there is an optical input for connection to your TV. The thinking here from Sonos is that most people using the Ray will generally be connecting to older sets. AirPlay 2 is on board, so that's good, but there's no voice control like you'll find on the Beam. Touch controls for play, pause, volume are included on the top, so no differences there. A big wrap to Sonos 2 for allowing this old chunky Samsung remote to work with the Ray. And it's not just when the TV's running, you can control the volume up and down or mute by using it on the Ray when you're playing via AirPlay. So really handy, because I can just grab the remote at any time and up and down the volume. The Sonos Ray is available globally from June 7th, 2022 for $399 Australian. In summary, this is a solid little soundbar that works well in the right room. A big expansive lounge room or entertainment area is not suitable due to output limitations. But it's very good in a bedroom or small office like this. The audio hits you straight in the face. So if you're in a scenario like that, it's definitely worth considering. The Sonos Ray was provided by Sonos for review. It is going straight back to them. They had no input in this review and they are seeing it the same time you see it. So please like, share and comment what your thoughts are about the Sonos Ray. You do it